Hello friends, how are you people? Today we are going to configure um, how to create VLANs on HP switches and uh, this is the same way how to configure VLANs on H3C switches. Let's start our configuration here. We will use, first we will uh, create a topology then we will configure them and to configure them for different VLANs suppose we have two switches let's add two systems this side and two system on this side Here we have two switches and four different users and users. We will <coughs> make two different VLANs on each switch and then we will link these two switches via a trunk link. In this uh, video we will learn how to uh, configure VLANs on each switch and how to create trunk links between the two switches. Um, let me start the network devices here. Then we will configure our switches. Okay guys, let's start. We will configure two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 in on this switch. This PC, I have configured this PC for VLAN 10, this PC for VLAN 20. Similarly, this PC for VLAN 10 and this PC for VLAN 20. We have connected the port 48 with the port of with the 48th port of this switch this link will be the trunk link we will learn how to configure a trunk link in hpe and h3c switches let's start first we will assign ips on these and users terminals enable 192 one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. There is no need to mm, mm, configure a gateway here as we are just configuring this topology for layer two. One nine two one six eight twenty dot one two five five two five five two five five dot zero. Here you can see that configure enable. Oops, one nine two one six eight ten dot two second IP of VLAN ten. Apply Enable One nine two one six eight twenty dot two two five five two five five two five five dot zero 
and apply. Let's start with our switch one. Oh, sorry, CLI. Control C. System view. Host name switch one. Sorry, switch one. Now we will create VLAN. Here we will create VLANs the same way we created in Cisco switches. VLAN 10 name IT. Similarly, VLAN 20 name HR. Okay, now let's assign ports to these two VLANs. In this switch, we will configure interface range gigabit 1 0 update 1 2 gigab gigabit 5 port link type access port access vlan 10 interface range gigabit one of this to gigabit one of the 10 port link type access port access vlan 20 quit now we will configure a trunk link on port number 48 interface gigabit 1 oblique 0 oblique 48 port link type trunk port trunk now we will permit the number of VLANs we want to add on trunk link whereas in Cisco switches when we create trunk link the trunk link automatically assign uh, in or um, adds every VLAN on it whereas in uh, H3C switches we have to permit number of VLANs we want to add on trunk link Whereas Cisco switches add every VLAN by default on trunk links. Port trunk permit VLAN 10 and 20. Let's check our configuration. Display current configuration. Here we have VLAN 10 name IT, VLAN 20 name HR. You can see first port is in VLAN 10 access port. Port link mode is bridge. First five ports are in VLAN 10. <coughs> and next five ports are in VLAN 20. Now let's check, let's check our port number 48. Here you can see port link type is this port trunk permit VLAN 1 to 1, 10, and 20. VLAN 1 is the native VLAN. Okay, now save we save the configuration on switch 1 similarly we will configure our switch 2 system view host name 
switch to VLAN 10 name ID VLAN 20 name HR we will assign these VLANs to the number of ports on the switch interface range gigabit 1 oblique 0 click 1 2 gigabit 1 oblique 5 port link type access port access VLAN 10 interface range gigabit 6 to gigabit port link type access port access VLAN 20 now we will configure a trunk link interface gigabit 1 oblique 0 oblique 48 port link type trunk trunk port trunk permit vlan 10 and 20 now let's verify our configuration here we will ping pc3 from pc3 to pc5 ip address of this pc is 192.168.10.2 accessible similarly we will ping pc6 from pc4 ping 192.168.20.2 accessible so guys we configured a trunk link between the two switches by using HCL uh, simulator this is the same way we can configure uh, uh, H3 switches and HPE switches I hope you have understood the main idea how to configure the VLANs on these switches and I hope you will ask if you have any kind of query about this topic thank you